Hello everyone, and I am extremely excited today. Why? Because we finally got a multiplayer trailer, an actual confirmed uh, official multiplayer trailer, not just gameplay from a journalist who did not want to follow the rules. This is official confirmed multiplayer from Naughty Dog and Sony themselves, uh, which is extremely exciting. Now I'm going to link to my buddy's channel who has it uploaded, um, and with that said, let's get into my thoughts and impressions of what I saw during the trailer. First up, let's look at the maps that we uh, got to see. We got to see a little like an overgrown subway. Looks more close quarters with some cluster everywhere. Next up is uh, like a quarantine zone in the middle of a city. So I'm guessing more wide open than the subway, but yet still pretty much close quarters. And my personal favorite is a little sniper overwatch in the snowy city. It definitely looks the same. It, it, they all kind of look like Uncharted 3 maps where they're wide open to a certain extent, but still close quarters for the most part and pretty much just close quarters maps, which is fine. I mean, no big deal there. Um, now, as for who we get to play... We spotted some uniforms around here. Now, in some of the multiplayer screenshots, we actually saw Firefly emblems on some of the characters' clothing. And it has actually been confirmed that in the multiplayer, the central focus is going to be the Hunters versus the Fireflies. This is awesome, not only because it ties into the single-player story, but because... These are two groups that are very lethal and very ready to kill. So we're going to be playing characters who have experience, are supposed to have experience killing each other and knowing what to do. This is going to be an extremely fun multiplayer in my opinion. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Now onto the game modes themselves. Now there are actually two game modes that have been confirmed and we have a lot of info on. The first is Supply Raid. Now in Supply Raid, your team has a limited number of respawns. Basically the idea is to wander around the map with your team, keeping your team alive, uh, collecting supplies, and eliminating the enemy team's tickets, or reinforcements, sorry. I say tickets because of lack of a better word, I'm a Battlefield fan. But this sounds like a lot of fun, I mean, first team to zero tickets loses, who wouldn't like that? And I'm really excited to see where they go with this. Now the next game mode is called Survival, and it's going to be a lot faster than Survival, simply because it's basically just team deathmatch elimination. You only get one life, you go around with your team and you eliminate the other team. The first team to be eliminated is, well, the loser. This actually surprisingly sounds like it's going to be my favorite game mode, simply because of the mechanics that The Last of Us multiplayer is going to include. For instance, you can mark your enemies. Sniper, heads up! Poker's down! Not only that, but if you look at the top left, you'll see a radar. Now that radar, if you run near an enemy player, he's going to see you on the radar, he's going to know exactly where you are. So this is going to encourage players to stealth around the map, they're going to want to take it easy, take their time, so that they don't get spotted on the radar of all things. Now what I think that just these two mechanics alone are awesome, because I think that what they're going to do, now I could be totally wrong, but what I think that they're going to do is they're going to slow down the overall pace of the multiplayer, make it much more tense, make it much more reminiscent of the single player campaign when you're actually in combat with a single player AI, which as you know is very slow and very tense and that's really, really what I want in this multiplayer. That's, I just think this is the perfect game to do it. Now, something else that they've incorporated that I'm really looking forward to is skill sets that are more oriented towards team play rather than just individual success. For instance, there's a skill set called Crafting Master. Now, how Crafting Master works is the more you craft an item, the more a percentage goes towards that item to be given as a gift. So the more Molotovs you craft, for instance, you can give a Molotov as a gift to your teammates. I think this is awesome because this is going to encourage team play. This is going to encourage people working towards a common goal, which it will be to win. Now, I might sound extremely optimistic, and that's probably because I've just been excited for this game for two years, but you have to admit that the worst part of a team-oriented game is people just going off and doing their own thing. And I really don't want to see that. So seeing that they're actually putting skill sets that are focused more on team play rather than just individual play, oh, of course I'm going to be excited for that, and I really think it's a, at least a step in the right direction. Now with the main bulk of what excited me from the multiplayer out of the way, let's take a look at some of the miscellaneous stuff that I just wanted to talk about. So we've seen shivs, we've seen smoke bombs, we've seen molotovs, we've seen all the stuff that you can craft. Well, not all the stuff you can craft, but we've seen a lot of the stuff that you can craft. This obviously brings another aspect of, to team play into it, because while you're crafting, you're obviously going to be extremely vulnerable. You're going to want people to watch your back. You're going to definitely want to watch your teammates' backs. Also, take a look at the bottom right hand of the screen when this guy goes into listen mode. You notice a little meter that runs out as he's in it. This is an awesome thing to see, because a lot of people, including myself, are a little worried that listen mode is going to be an abusable mechanic and going to be just a cheap mechanic in general for multiplayer use. Now, obviously, it's likely that a booster or something will come along that will allow us to use listen mode for a longer period of time. However, it's still nice to see that meter anyway, because at least that tells me that Naughty Dog put some thought into balancing out listen mode, which is really what our main concern was, was listen mode being incredibly unbalanced. Also, we can't forget about this whole build your clan thing. I mean, what, what's going on here? 90 survivors, healthy, or 17, hungry, 64, and sick, 9. 9 new members join the clan. Honestly, I'm really confused about what this could possibly be. Obviously not really a multiplayer aspect in full. I mean, it could be a multiplayer aspect with 
players controlling their um, their AI clans. I mean, that would make sense to me. But honestly, I have no clue what's going on here, and I cannot wait to see, you know, uh, what this turns out to be. All we can really do is speculate at this point. I mean, surviving 12 weeks? I mean, look at all that. Honestly, I have no clue what that could be, and I'm really excited to find out what that is. Oh, and who wouldn't love the fact that players don't appear to be bullet sponges if they weren't Uncharted 3? It looks like health is something you do not want to take advantage of in this multiplayer. Well, that's about it, and I hope you've enjoyed listening to me fanboy over this trailer long enough. Honestly, I understand that a trailer's main focus is to make a game look as great as it can possibly look, but I had been holding out on getting that season pass for a while now simply because I hadn't had any multiplayer detail. But now that I finally have at least somewhat of an understanding of what the multiplayer is going to look like and what it's going to feel like, I can't wait to get hands-on and do a proper review of the pros and the cons of the multiplayer itself. But until then, this is going to have to hold up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.